The Illinois app is available now on Apple and Google Play Store. Download the app, get the latest news, stream our podcasts, watch interviews, and listen to Illinois Radio Live. Download the app right now. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Illinois Jones, and right now you're tuned into the dopest thing to hit the streets since crack cocaine. I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to go get your baby mama phone and download the Illinois app and turn on all her notifications. All up. Turn on all her notifications. <laughs> yes. And then follow us on Twitter <laughs> and turn on all her notifications. Make sure every alert we tweet. She gets, you feel me? Because the baby mamas love Illinois Radio, and we love the baby mamas. What's up, Brittany? What's up? How you doing today? I'm good. So our topic today was... Uh, Sweetest day. <laughs> oh, <no>. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever celebrated Sweetest Day before? Um, Maybe once. Maybe once? Maybe once. Do you... What what what, what 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 you do? Do you remember what you did? No, I was years ago. I was I was young. I okay. Was young, yeah. If you was to celebrate Sweetie's Day today, mm. Mm, how would you celebrate mm. it? Man, I don't know. Something real, like simple. Nothing. I what about my, next year? What if you did it next year? Um, something real simple. Something real. Si- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this I, is like we get no, something. and it's not even that because I don't ask for a lot, and so I like I like simple things. So. You simple know. could be good. Yeah. If yeah. there's a thought that counts. Yeah. And, and, so what's something? Give me something simple. Like, what's a sweetie's day like with Brittany Carter? Um, I would like to order food. Um, I like to be in the crib. I like get movies, listen to music, have like a playlist like ready. Like Okay. Yeah. Oh, chap. Damn. That's not, okay. I feel like y'all taking that the wrong way. No. No, no. no. We, we like that. We like that. No, no. no that's, that's cool. Lit. That's lit. The <laughs> playlist, some food, some movies. Look, yeah. you Yeah. Sweet. When you say a playlist, I'm like, oh, that's yeah, different. That's deep. Yeah, and playlist like, and food, that's all you really need. Like mm-hmm. some good music. Yeah. yeah you got to keep the engine running. Good yeah. music, good food, good vibes. Good movies. Oh, man. Yeah. Halftime. Yeah. <laughs> what's a what's a prefer? I mean, well, what movie would you watch on Sweetest Day with your sweetheart? Ooh, because I know how I am, so I couldn't pick the movie. He had to pick the movie. Oh, you a bad movie picker? Um, we don't agree. Oh, sorry, movies. <laughs> Somebody's a bad. Why are you movie trying picker? to watch the Notebook? Why you? <laughs> you like the Notebook? I love the Notebook. Yo, 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 yo! The earliest shit in that movie, when he was like, "You don't know me, but I know me," and when I want something. I just got it. Yeah. I'm like, that nigga cold. That nigga cold. I don't know. He either cold or he crazy. No, he was crazy for climbing up that roller coaster like that. I wouldn't have did that. Yeah, see, he was showing you the crazy like early on. Like, look, this is what you going to have to deal with. But she was just as crazy. Yeah. See, look, I watched the notebook, ladies. I watched the notebook. (laughs) I don't know what the hell y'all talk about. What? Yeah, yo, watch the notebook. (laughs) Watch it. To all my single fellas out there, watch the notebook. Yes, the I'm, boy I'm caught I'm a lot of a JJ on the notebook. <laughs> They're gonna put that on my wish list. Yes, <laughs> sir. The notebook and the black Cinderella with Brandy. Oh man, so, classic, oh, bro! Look, you see? God, hey, I don't know nothing about that. Look, I don't. I had to, I had to learn past love and basketball. You feel me? I had got to go you. further, deeper see, down. You know, God hey, knows. Hey, I know love knows. and basketball. See, look, you yeah. know, look, see, everybody, <laughs> but you got to go be it's some it's beyond deeper. that. Yeah, it's deep. Yeah, man. This ain't even about us, though. It's about Brittany. <laughs> look, look, you done, you done, you done tapped into the inner Jones. Look. It's my partner, though. Yeah, uh, I mean, we uh, recently played Bump, mm-hmm. a tourist, and I, you know, I was, um, you, you, re- you recently had an interview, and you mentioned that, well, you forgot to mention Bump as a feature. Yeah, uh, I, I hate when it happens, like. People be asking me, like, who you want to do a feature with? And I get home, like, oh, man, like, I had some more people lined up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, besides, well, let, let's talk Bump. Then we're going to talk about some other features. So, you know, Bump been doing his thing in the city for some years, still holding it down. Yeah. Um, what what led you into wanting to, you know, work with Bump? I don't know. I was just, like, searching through, like, some of his stuff. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, this, this, this collab will make a lot of sense. And I was just like, hmm. So I was just searching through like like the instrumentals that I have already, and was like, "What? what okay, like I could maybe I don't know, make some stuff and send it out to him and to his people and see if you know I can make that happen." You should listen to Grammyville one, two, and three. Um, I want to say I the first two I have. You have, yeah. You go, look, that piff. You going that piff? They got all old bump and new okay, bump. Okay, yeah. I don't think that I I heard the third one. Yeah, no. go and check them out. Them, okay, because him and Sly. Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What, what's some other features uh from the? Cause you don't you, you do f- you do features, mm-hmm. but not many. Like I know you did a feature with New York artist uh Cellulis Hamilton. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Dope feat. Yeah. That same war. We gonna actually run that too. That yes. was 
dope. Like, how did y'all even link? I want to say years ago, uh, we met through uh, a producer here from the city. His name is Lee. And um, we met through him, I believe. It was a long time ago. Like when we, I think when we met, like, I wasn't even really, like, doing music. I didn't even have much out. <laughs> I think it was just that that one, you know, that YouTube joint we, were, I, we did the cypher for. Yeah, y'all. I think we stayed in touch since then, and he had recently sent me something, like, earlier this year. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> this sounds tight. And so, yeah. yeah. Y'all went crazy. I mean, of course, you were also featured on uh, Add To back in the day. Incredible mm-hmm. album from uh, Jim Crow the Musical. But yeah. uh, what's, some, what's some other Chicago artists you would love to link up with? Uh, I'm gonna just say three. three. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't okay, because I'm just like, oh, all right. Stretch it thin. Um, Saba, of course. Um, Raven Lene and Motherfucking Mello. Gotcha. That's his real name. That's his. That's his artist name. <laughs> oh, okay, because I thought she was saying like, that's Motherfucking Mello. <laughs> like, that's why. Like, like, that's my motherfucking guy. Like, I really want to fuck with. I don't want to work with him. I for thought that's time. Like, I really, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was his name. I'm thinking yeah. you just saying motherfucking mellow because that's like real. She put the emphasis. I'm thinking you put emphasis when you that's, say motherfucking. That's his name, I didn't. Yo. I think I got to get in tune with motherfucking Look, mellow. I've been called him MF and mellow. And then she, Motherf- I'm like, oh, oh so motherfucking mellow. Yeah. I like that man. It's yeah. unique. Hey, pivot game, pivot game, yo. That's she, unique. She, she said yeah, Saba is. and and MF and mellow, motherfucking mellow, motherfucking mellow. Motherfuckin mellow. <laughs> he need to put out a mixtape called Hoodie Mellow. Hey, he oh, actually bro. actually got hoodie. You know, you know what's what's unique about. What I love about Chicago artists is the merch. Mm-hmm. This man came out with a mug. So I know you are on verge of releasing an album. Mm-hmm. What's some, some merch we can expect from, from you? I got some buttons. I got stickers. Um, and I, I've really been I trying to. Um, I, I, I want a you. sticker too. Shit. Um, <laughs> just like uh, sh- hoodies, T-shirts. Um, I'm trying to like do some some other stuff, but I don't, don't want to say it yet. Just like some some personalized stuff that like that goes with my personality. So I've been trying not to like. I don't know, like, not have the typical merch, but just have something that, like, lines up with my, you know, like, what I like to do at home and maybe get some pens and, like, maybe get some notebooks. and Something that match your personality. Mm-hmm. And you saying, so you, okay. You should get some candles. Yeah, I've been mm, thinking about that, that too. too. Like, candle socks. Yeah, I, I can see stuff. some candles, like, hey, like what would you that name like your you got candle? A candle vibe. Man, I don't know. I have to get, like, my own, like, scent. It'd be crazy. The Britney Carter's joints. It'd be crazy. That'd be dope. <laughs> Britney Smith. It's definitely something. It's definitely Britney something sense. I've been thinking about. That that would be. I would buy a candle from. Look, you. I got I got candles all in the crib. That's like my my vibe. So yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking I, I like a cinnamon, like a cinnamon joint. Brown cinnamon. Brown cinnamon. Man, I got. Brown we we over here trying I'm to a, help. I'm look, a, look, look. I've been, I've been thinking about this. That's all I do. Oh, can- you got. Look, you know, you know, yeah. we here, we yes. here. What? Yes. <laughs> now I got to jump in deep because you know you've been you know uh you've been putting out some freestyles. Uh, for some time now, this yeah. is nothing new. You've yeah. been doing this with the with you know providing content on the freestyle uh, level, and you've been striking some attention. Mm-hmm. Uh, you struck a lot of attention, and recently you just struck Missy Elliott. Oh man! You know she uh, retweeted and, and 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 put you out there to the masses on her end. I gotta know though, you know, like with you striking attention, how has that helped you as an artist? Like, does it help? And okay. do these artists actually reach out to you? Mm-hmm. Um, it helps because. It's more eyes, like it's like it's Missy Elliott, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like she has a huge platform, and she's super dope, you know. Um, so I mean, when whenever that happens, I just use it to my advantage, just like link people to the music. It, it helps every single time, like, and so that's one of the reasons I, I do, you know, keep doing the videos, but also like because my project coming out. So, <laughs> I mean, before the pro- project is uh before the even before the project, mm-hmm. you've been real adamant on keeping people in tune with. You know, you being a lyricist, and another thing is, you don't rap about how good your how good your private area is, how good your coochie <laughs> is. You don't rap about how wet it is, and you mm-hmm. don't rap about shaking your ass. Mm-hmm. You actually have content. Do you feel like that lane is overrated? Um, it can be when everybody feels like like that's the way to do it. Cause like I love Megan, but like when I think when everybody feels like this is the route, like I gotta take to get some attention, you know, then that's when it gets like oversaturated. Cause you know, to me it just seems like Megan is just being herself, Mm -hmm. you know. But like when people see something that's working, obviously you know people copy it. So I love how you've been staying true to you, cause it's been working for you just delivering bars, Mm -hmm. and um, you know, knowing that. You don't rap about what everybody, I ain't going to say everybody because everybody don't take that lane. And even that lane is not a bad lane either. Yeah. But just seeing you stay true to self, I feel like that's that's big on artist identity. And um, I got to know too, like, 
what when was it when you actually found your identity as an artist um i really don't think it's it was too hard because i think i just create the music that i grew up listening to like and what i gravitate toward and you know i think and i think that's what most people do like what most artists do when they start creating like you're gonna create the music that you know that moves you the most um what was the question? I, I, I was saying, <laughs> it's okay. I'm going off on a tangent. Look, it's okay. I, I was saying, like, when was it, you know, when you found your artist identity, you know, you knew what fit you and what lane was for and you? And probably, like, these last two years, I think. Um, just finding different instrumentals, uh, finding what works for me. Um, that's pretty much it. Just spending spending time, like, listening to music. I think that helps a lot. Mm. Um, listening to other people's music and just, like, just creating music because I feel like when you create stuff, even if it it, it don't sound that good, you know, <laughs> that's when you know, like, okay, like that shit not for me. Okay, let me let me do something else. Yeah. So just a lot of lot of trial and error. And um, you listen to a lot of different genres too, you know, <laughs> out, outside of rap. Because I've been in your story, <laughs> and I'm like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I listen to everything. So outside of rap, what's a, what's another favorite genre of yours? Everything. Um. I, you you were talking about when I was like posting my Christina Aguilera, yeah. and my Avril Lavigne, yeah. and my Linkin Park, and <laughs> oh, you be wilding, yeah. huh? Yeah. Blink One Eighty Two, yeah, okay, uh, okay, Paramore, <laughs> yeah, content different, and she, and she was singing it too. Oh yeah, she I was, wasn't just playing; you were singing it. Oh yeah, that's I how gotta, you gotta be. I got a whole playlist dedicated to to that. <laughs> Hold on, Blink One Eighty Two, Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Paramount. Paramore. I'm sorry. Paramore. Paramore Look, yeah. I said that, but I know who she is yeah. and the band is in Yeah, general. they, they fire. They pretty dope. They fire. So you see, I know. I, yeah. I listen to different <laughs> genres too. So, you know, knowing that you do that, I'm like, yo, I know your what you got coming for this new project is going to mm-hmm. be dope because I feel like when artists open themselves up to different genres, it, it just unlock a whole nother whole nother sense inside their brain and their mentality in general. Uh, it, it helps them be creative. Yeah. yeah. You hear instruments you normally wouldn't hear mm-hmm. in rap music. You hear notes you normally wouldn't hear, melodies you normally wouldn't hear. So mm-hmm. I think that helps you be creative more than just listening to this one genre. Yeah. And that's dope as hell. Yeah, I just Who's love the, music in general. Plus, you, so, yeah. Blink-182. That's different. Blink-182, yo. They lit. I want to say they dropped the album like last year or something. I don't know if it was last year or earlier this year, but. Then they had some like. dance, dance. I'm falling in love. <laughs> I don't even know that. Okay, Joe. No, no, look, man. I, I Look. <laughs> Look, I know some songs, man. I don't, you know, I used to ride around to B96 back in my day, you know. Same. You know Same. what I mean? I got, they put me on Sam Hunt. I, I rock with Sam Hunt. He got a dope joint. But I like the old school, old school outside the rap genre. I like the mm-hmm. old school stuff like Chicago, like the band Chicago. You ever heard of them? Um, no. They got a song called, uh, Does Anybody Know What Time It Is? That's the hardest song ever. You got to put me on that too. We're going yeah. to ride to it. Matter of fact, we gonna you move. Said Chicago. I'm thinking about the musical. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, <laughs> that, no, that's, the, that's, the, that's the band called the Chicago. They oh, from here. Oh yeah, I never, I never. Heard Plain of White Tees. You ever heard of Plain White Tees? Oh, my yeah. dogs, my dogs. Um, Look. what's my boy Phil Phillip Phillips? Mm-hmm. Phillip hey, Phillips. Delilah. Yeah, yeah Delilah. Yeah. 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 See, look, we here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see. <laughs> so, me and folks want to start swapping music, man. <laughs> For oh. real, look, I got, I'm, I can see some playlists. Come on. Hey, look, look, do that, do that. For real, <laughs> do that. I was just talking about how, like, um, you know, like the <laughs> the pop music don't sound the same as it used to. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't have like the the Britney Spears and uh, the NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys uh, no more. It's know. not even a, like a thing anymore. <laughs> man, that's diff- That's crazy. Because yeah. you know what, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Don't, I don't want to sound crazy or mean, but they ain't, ain't none that cool no more. You feel no, me? No, like, it don't like, sound as good. Like, don't get offended when I say this, but ain't no cool white boys in like that no more. Like, <laughs> like, like, like NSYNC was like <laughs> it was the like, cool. Yeah, like, like, look, it was like yeah. you looked at just like yo, that he black. He got some black. <laughs> he in got him. some soul. He in got him. some black in him. <laughs> You know what I mean? You look at uh, Backstreet, you be like, hold on, now. Who writing their music? Okay? Oh, they got some black in them. They got some black. You you saw Christina Aguilera for the first Being time. Top the bottle. bottle. You be like, who the hell is this little white girl? <laughs> look at her We moving. were like sitting just watching, Watch going through. I'm a genie yeah. in a bottle, baby. I don't know this nigga about rolling up Come on. <laughs> don't forget, Pink. Pink was bad. Yeah. Was. Yeah. Pink was bad. I don't know. I, I know the whole I still dance routine yeah. to bye-bye. 
Don't you really like want to make a touch? That I had, yeah, bro. <laughs> you know they was busting, bro. I was doing the dance. You know, come on, come on. You ain't gonna never say when you broke up with a girl. You went, she's gone. Yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah, I, I definitely Look, was. Exactly. See, they don't I don't even got songs like that no more. No. They don't. They don't. <laughs> it's not a genre. Yeah. They, and I mean, I, I gotta ask you too. You know, your new project, mm-hmm. as I am. Mm-hmm. That's the title. Yeah, that's a strong pod title. Exactly, that's a very strong title. So, um, how long have you been sitting on this title and uh, break down the meaning behind? It's not things? been long at all. It was probably <laughs> like the beginning of I want to say maybe like May or June or something when I came up with the title. And I had been playing around with a with a whole bunch of like different titles. I can't remember them. They weren't as good as this one. I'm just like I was asking Aaron, and he was like, Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> I was like, How about this? He. Mm. <laughs> And so I finally came up with one after, like, just sitting, listening to the to the project. And I don't know, I just figured, it's just, like, little pieces of me. I feel like listening to the songs, you get, like, okay, I can see maybe, like, bits of her personality here. So and did so, you open up a lot on this project? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, you know, it's hip-hop, but it's just, like, different parts of my life I feel like you can hear in the, in the lyrics. Okay. And so, yeah. Damn, that's a dope um title. What was our ill talk last week? Um, perception, so, so perception, what, what perception it, is perception more important, important than reality? reality. How do you feel mm, about that's that, Brittany? Good question. I think that's along the lines of her. Oh, yeah, as I am. Her title. Yeah. Um. Well, when it comes to music, or just in, in general. general. Oh, that's then that's shit. I don't even know how to answer that. Because you okay? Because you could. I mean, you could speak on it on the music side because you know artists like we we spoke last week. Some artists have to build their perception up in order to grow their career but you on the other yeah. hand at take me as i am you letting people know hey this is what you getting this is my reality this is what i'm yeah, giving it's just you like you know I, I can't really like pander to you know a group because that just doesn't make sense to me you know i feel like when when you when you do that then people are going to keep expecting like you to do shit like that and it's just like nah like <laughs> this is kind of like what i got you know this is where i am it's my first project you know so this is just kind of like where where I'm where I'm coming from? Damn, this is your first actual long yeah. length because you've been um, you dropped like what three EPs? Yeah, I don't even know if they just EPs. I was just trying to like well, find a yeah. way around to drop like you know like a you know how the tapes used to be back in the day like A side B side mm-hmm. joints. So that's kind of like the idea behind that like the two joints we were dropping. So I wanted to know. Yeah, I wanted to actually know more about that because. That's what it was. it was like, you know, supplicate side A, breakthrough yeah. side you B. You know how like back in the day, I used to have like a tape player and like, <laughs> you, you, yeah, side. you record songs on one side and you had to flip it over because you ain't got no old space on the other side. So <laughs> that's kind of like the idea that you know they. You sorry. know what? I got a merch idea for I'm, look, you. Look, I'm already already there. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> already there. I'll show yeah. it for the same. But you know what? Let's actually uh, let's jump into breakthrough, and um. Let's play that joint. Break down breakthrough one time, and then we're going to get back into this interview with you. What you? Break, I'm saying break down breakthrough. You mean to talk about the song? Yeah. Man, I can't even remember the song. I ain't going to lie to you. What? Well, let's like, play it so you can get your memory like the back. First thing, <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I ever recorded. I'm like, I don't know. What? Look, well, we're going to play breakthrough, and we're going to be right back. Hopefully it'll bring back God. some memories. Exactly. That was like two years ago. I'm like, I don't even know. So, y'all keep it locked with us right here on Illinois Radio. Make sure to check out the Illist playlist in which we provide you with the latest tracks we play live on our show. Head over to Spotify and search Illinois Radio to follow our playlist as well as follow our podcast. Now let's get back to the show. Hey, what's going on, good people? This Infamous Six, man, down here in Florida. I just seen uh, Brittany's going to be live, man. Just sending my support and love. She's one of the coldest in the game, man. She's a legend in the making. So I just sent her my love and support for Brittany Carter, one of the dopest, the illest. So I just wanted to send that love. One time. All the way from Florida. <laughs> That's cool. Yo. <laughs> I mean, if you all want to call in, you can definitely call us at 708-581-4850. Make sure y'all love. Uh, definitely, you know, you could call in live or leave a voicemail. I mean, you know, hearing the love all the way down there from Florida. How do you know what's how that feel for you, uh, bro? Makes me feel warm. <laughs> you feel that Florida vibe? It's like, oh man, I feel, I feel lovely. <laughs> man, that's from Florida. So you've been doing this for four years. Yeah, you've been like, you can love all the way from Florida. Most like, how like, how does that make you feel? Like, you only been doing it for four years. It's hard to process in my brain. 
had to wake <laughs> up as Britney Carter. What is it like to go through your notifications and oh, man. your tweets and all the love you? What's that like? Um, yeah, it's man. Only the beginning. I don't know. I just be trying to respond to as many people as I can. <laughs> For real, I, I just feel like, and it, it's hard to to separate myself from doing that now because. I feel like, you know, engaging with the people who support you is important. Right. Um, but now it's just getting hard to, to actually do that. Because you got over 100,000 tweets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, 100,000. Yeah, your comments. IG going I'm like, crazy. Your I'm, I'm going to do the best I crazy. can. But, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, this is not even possible to do at this point. Just post up every once in a blue moon. Thank y'all. I love y'all. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Like, <laughs> so. That's a good feeling to have, though. Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of the day, uh, what's, what's some you, you know, you, what's a, a place you would like to visit once this, this pandemic is over. What's a place you would like to f- perform at outside of Chicago? New York. Uh, it's only right. New York is different. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to to perform at a venue in New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the first song you gonna hit the stage with? Cold as us. I'm. You Ooh. already know. Like, <laughs> it's, it's one of it's one of my favorite songs off the project. So yeah, be, yeah. Uh, you can't just stop there. Look, Cold as Us is a cold ass record. Mm-hmm. You and Olive Blue came together. This is y'all second record together. If I'm not mistaken, was yeah about y'all second record together. <laughs> sound like that. <laughs> y'all let's see. Sound like y'all got more. Oh in yeah. The works. Yeah. Yeah. With a joint project. That's what I'm trying to trying to get her to do. So. That'd be dope. Yeah, I know she got to do her own thing, but you know, yeah. eventually. You drop yeah. her. She drop her solo. You drop your solo. Then yeah, bam, I drop a collabo around the summertime. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I yeah. mean, breakdown code is us too because um the video dropped this week. Um, let's let's talk about the video because I know with the with the video dropping it it's it's like a one shot. Yeah. Um. So let's let's talk about the video a little bit. How y'all came up with the direction? It was very random. Um, like a lot of my <laughs> videos, it wasn't like something super planned. Uh, planned. Um, the the piece that we had for the camera, he had never used before. So this is all. This is like a we did this in one day. Um, it was a very long day, <laughs> but we did this all in one day. Um, driving around, we're like on a flatbed. And they're, like, pulling this on a truck. <laughs> and so we got, like, just different furniture around, like, the flatbed. And the camera is just... I'm just popping in different sections as we, like, driving down some random road. Y'all, wait, y'all rented a flatbed truck? Yeah. Like like a tow truck type flatbed or... Yeah, like the, like the U-Haul joints. Wow. Yeah. Damn. And then put a whole <laughs> prop on that joint. Yeah, like a uh, futon, a... Uh, Literally, like the desk and the computer, the the mic stand, everything. Yeah, I hope he was driving safely. It was. <laughs> <laughs> we did what we had to do. <laughs> Damn! Hopefully, he hit them brakes yeah, too hard. We 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 got it done. <laughs> Damn, that's you. So, cause I'm watching it, like, yo, this looks dope. But I didn't, you know, we outside looking in, it didn't look. I didn't know y'all was literally on a flat bed and yeah, damn, yeah, that's super dope. And then did it like a, like I said, it was a one type film directly. yeah we didn't even like he had never used that piece like for the camera before and we were just like yeah i guess we just gonna see how this turns out yeah snap olive blue i wish she was there too yeah we she had she had an engagement that day and so that's why she couldn't she couldn't be there man i, I could see her in the background like when the camera move off you she chilling on the couch with a book or something yeah like man it would have been dope if she could have been there damn who produced uh cold as us scud one is he uh from chicago I don't know where this man from. Like <laughs> he sound familiar. Yeah, he do good one. He's worked with uh, Denmark Vesey. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Like he, he's worked with a pretty. With he a, sound with like he's from here. We say Scud a lot. Yeah, we sure do say Scud. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's from here or L. A. I know he's always like back and forth between here, L. A. and Detroit. Okay. And, yeah, but I had never. <laughs> I like we don't even know each other like that. He um I want to say was it like last year? I think he he hit me up um. And like send me just like a whole pack of instrumentals, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? Merry like, Christmas to me. I'm just like, oh, okay. Like he know exactly what I like, <laughs> and so yeah, I think I like met him randomly. Uh, we met up at um, like Louder and a Bomb. <laughs> mm. That was our first time meeting each other. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Illinois Jones, and right now you're tuned into the dopest thing to hit the streets since crack, crack cocaine. cocaine. I love y'all, and I know y'all love me. So make sure y'all hit that bell. On YouTube, we got my girl Brittany Carter still in the building with yeah, us. Yeah, swag, swag. <laughs> One thing I want to say to you is your vibe 
and just how you bop in your you got a bop in your videos when you be rapping, you just be like, ah, ah. <laughs> like it's it's strong. Like you gotta like where that come from? I, I don't even know. <laughs> cause you just be like, cause even when I see you perform, mm-hmm. you just you like you you real quiet. Like I'm like shit. I thought you like when I first met you at the, I was the singer. Event. Yeah, yeah. I get that. A lot. And then you got the whole full. You know, every rapper don't have the first and last name. So it was like, oh, she <laughs> could <laughs> sing. <laughs> yeah, she looked like it. Then we saw him. I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? Where you get her from? <laughs> Like what your whole like is this like is that a secret like you like I'm finna shock the fuck out these motherfuckers? No, I, that's just what what be happening. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what happened when I be performing? I have no, I don't even know a, a real answer for that. <laughs> you just changed like yeah. you like you chilled out right now. You you get on that stage, you turn to him like that's oh, not another the, Britney. That's not the same. Person. I think it's the par- probably the perfectionist in me, like wanting things to just sound good. <laughs> is this like the stage is your outlet? Um, yeah, you could say that that in a in a notebook. <laughs> so <what's, See? laughs> the, the, I, I can't wait to get a notebook A Britney Carter oh, notebook real. You should do like all cartoons Like like you know how the stickers used to be Like we used to have the real grass stickers on the notebooks Yeah, You should do those but just imprint that In the notebook cover Just have a bunch tight. of cartoons yeah, I've, I've been thinking about like different ideas yeah. merge to I'm an tight. idea connoisseur <laughs> If that's the thing <laughs> We I just made it so it should be. So like what I wanted to ask you oh, Damn I forgot You went out that window just fast I ain't even smoke today. Yeah, it's um, okay. <laughs> I, hold on. We was talking about cartoons. Um, we was talking about performing. Yeah. Performing. Uh, damn, I really forgot. It's all good. It'll come back. It's going to come back. back. Yeah. Watch. I'm going to think. <laughs> well, while you think on it, I'm going to bring up Loop Theory. Okay. Uh, you know, um, you partnered with Loop you, you partnered with Loop Theory probably like two I'm just I'm just yeah, on my been, about two years. Yeah, it's been about Damn, two years. Damn, I've been in tune like that, see? But uh <laughs> you, you, you all linked together uh about two years ago mm-hmm. and it's been a change. I, I can admit that. Like with seeing you being solo, and then seeing you link up with Loop Theory, it's been a huge change and uh one of those changes I would say I would have to ask you, what's what's the change you've seen since you uh, you know, linked up with the team? Um I mean, as far as like personal or just us in a. I would say on a. Uh, I'm gonna say two things on a personal matter and on a, a music scale. Um, personal matter. Um, probably just having the resources. I think that was a change. You know, um, in the beginning, of course, I think I, I, every artist go through not having, not having studio time or like can't afford studio time. And Navarro has made that a lot easier because we have a space to record. Yeah. <laughs> All we got to do is really show up. You know. Um, and as a team, I just think it's real cool. Um, I've never really worked, you know, like with a with a team before, like not musically. And um, it's just been real cool because everybody gets along and everybody's like really great at what they do. Ooh, that's perfect. Isn't that like the best thing ever yeah. to just go to the studio and not have to worry about paying? Yeah, <laughs> <Look>. on <the> real. <laughs> like, yes. I, I could go to the studio today. Well, I just... oh, are you? Are you gotta? Are you free? Are you free? <laughs> are you free today? <laughs> and that's it. That's pretty much it. That's dope. It feels it's really big. good. That took a lot. Did that take a lot of weight off of you? Just to know you can have that alone. Yeah, that took a, a lot of the weight because most of the times, like, I'm not really going to the studio to write. Like, most of the times, I'm doing it at home. And so when I when I get to the studio, I just want to you know record. And most times, I don't know. Like in the beginning, I just didn't have like the money to like really record and like have it engineered the way I wanted. So now you got that. Yeah, and it's popping. <laughs> oh yeah. For I mean, sure. Speaking of, of weight too, you know, with Navarro being an artist, mm-hmm. or I'm gonna say, you know, having artist back, having an artist background, yeah. uh, and being in the industry and dealing with certain things, do you think that also took a weight off of all 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 of everybody that's under Loop Theory? Yes, I mean, he, he's used his resources, everything, and and his his most um, like prevalent resources probably his relationships, like. He, because he's such a good person, I think like he he's kept his relationships intact, and so when you know when people reach out or when he reach out to other people, it's always all love. So that's big. I, I feel like you know having an artist background too, it really puts you in another men, you know mental space because we've been you know like <laughs> I have an artist background, yeah. so it's like we've been through it. We know the struggles. We we you know know who to rock with. Yeah, you know how to show up for you. you yeah, know? <laughs> and and you know that. As a having a manager behind you that that know what's up, I think that's that's a huge deal. And then the way you all are marketed too, mm-hmm. um, how when you drop a project, it's under Loop Theory, and everybody's pushing. Yeah, everybody. I, I think that's key too, and you all do it well. Yeah, I feel so. like it, it probably wouldn't work if we didn't support each other. You know, so 
Yeah. Is that was your was that your dream of having a team before you got with one was to have something that like a situation that you in now? Yeah, man. Like I found an old notebook and one of like my my things that I wanted um, was to like have a team with the same like mindset, you know, like same like vision, same like goals that I had. And a few years later, here we are. So. You spoke it into existence, yep, girl. Old dead. Yeah. Talk to that universe. Manifestation. What? Yeah. <laughs> the tongue is a sword. The tongue <laughs> is a sword. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe forget what the hell I was finna say now. <laughs> it get, I think it's this, this, this in the cup. It could be. It's this in the cup. Uh, one of the questions I did want to ask you was like, because I know before the pandemic happened, you was doing the shows and doing your thing like that. Like, what's something that you miss, you know, doing that you took for granted? Mm. Look, that's real easy. Interacting with people in real life. Like, <laughs> man, like, uh, like just yo. being in a crib all the time, wild. Like, talking to people on the internet, it's not the same as, like, hanging out with your friends, like, in person, going out to eat. Like, it's just not what the same. What restaurant you miss the most? Any Mexican food is yeah. what I'm going to go after. So you love you some Taco <laughs> Tuesday, don't you? Man, any kind of Mexican dish. I don't <laughs> care. Like, <laughs> Man, like Taco Tuesday. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Look the, her ooh. eyes just rolled. She Look. missed that shit. I do. <laughs> her and eyes just rolled. I she, do. <laughs> I really do. She's like, I'm tired of eating chicken and fries. Man. And pizza. <laughs> mm-hmm, we'll need that. <laughs> Uh, I'm still trying to get back to what I was finna uh, bring <laughs> up. It was some. It was something I had in mind, but God damn it, it and slipped. You gotta think, man. It's, it's a thinking process. It is. Slow uh, down. Slow your brain down. Oh well, it's it's gone. I mean, I want to let's talk about these. Uh, you know, freestyles that uh, you've been putting out to the world. Have those been effective for you? Uh, I say least to say. Oh yeah, man. Um. It's so funny when before putting them out, I'm always like, "Is this good enough?" I don't even know. Like, should I just wait till next week? Come with another one, you know. But it's just me being in my head again. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they're they're really helpful. Uh, most times, I just use them to push the music and like you know get people to listen. It's been working too. Oh yeah, it helps every single time. I think it's the consistency. Mm-hmm. You know, like some people would do it for some time and then stop. No, you've been consistent. Yeah. What's one of your favorite freestyles that you uh you know you put out to the world? Um, between, damn, cause I did a lot of Dilla, so I'm like the Dilla joint, but. <laughs> Yo, that yeah. one, okay. I got my question. <laughs> I got my question back. Um, it was like this joint I did over, um, I, look, I, I can't tell you the, the name of the instrumental, but I can say I was in the alley and I had on a green jacket. That was like, hands down, like my favorite, my favorite Is one. That we are one? No, nah, nah, that's, that's the, I had on a blue jacket. For, for We Are One. At least you remember the jacket Yeah, comes. I remember the jacket. I remember what I have on the videos. <laughs> <laughs> At least you remember that. Because, cause you, I mean, you... You uh you've done a, a lot of a lot of dope ass freestyles. I can remember when you first dropped one and it and it took off. Yeah, that then, was... Yeah, that was funny and strange. I, I mean, break how? Um, I just didn't expect, uh, you know, to, for it to go viral. <laughs> I was just like, okay, this is fun. Like, I'm having fun, like, writing to these instrumentals. So, I just, you know, it's surprising to see, like, oh, okay, like, people actually rock with this. Do you think if if things don't, you know, fun, because you just said it was fun, if it got to a point where the, the music business started to take over and it wasn't fun anymore, do you see yourself still doing music if it was not fun? I don't do nothing that's not fun. Like, but I, my plan is to keep it fun, you know? <laughs> So, because you know, some wants to, you know, for some artists, when that business get it, you know, coming in, in between the fun, it kind of yeah. take them out, they glow, and now they just fully focused on business. Yeah, and that's why I asked you because I know, right, you know, with it being fun, you're gonna create heat, but once you start thinking about the business aspect, it can. Hopefully it don't alter nothing because yeah. business is key. Because at the end of the day, you got to get that yeah. back pay. You gotta, gotta, get, you the gotta get that <laughs> back pay. But I, I, I just want to say when, when you know. Further down the line, I, I pray that it, it doesn't, you know, affect anything because you, you have a, a bright future. That's what I wanted to ask you too because you doing the freestyles, it's like a lot of a lot of people in a new generation that's coming up in music. They don't like freestyling over over industry beats. We're doing covers. I don't, what made you just dive into that? Like, um, I honestly don't even know. I was like really just on YouTube one day playing around, and that's when it all started. I was just playing around with some instrumentals, and I was like, oh, like. Wait, I'm actually coming up with some <laughs> with some rhymes here. And I just started like writing stuff down, and I was just like, "Oh, okay." 
Hmm, having fun. <laughs> yeah, it was like really me just like being at home. I think it's a dope marketing tool for yeah. you too. Oh yeah, I, I, look, I figured that out. I didn't, I didn't know, but yeah, it's a now, dope marketing. When you got a single dropping, you just I'm gonna do a couple freestyles. Freestyle. Yeah, because people gonna always be in the comments like, "Where's the music? Oh, got you. Here you are. Here you go. <laughs> Here's the <a> link. <laughs> <laughs> dope, dope, man. Because you kind of give me like an old school, not an old school vibe, but. The um the fun the same fun that they was having back in the day freestyling over other people's beats you give that same vibe back like yeah. I sound better on your shit than you do ooh, <laughs> the, ooh I'm ha- that's what I was gonna say. We see were- I told you we, I told you we gonna think this out man. we gonna think this out it's that's what cup. I was for to say like when you in, in in rap mode and and you deep into it do you put yourself in the mind frame of you better than everybody else sometimes. Sometimes uh, I'm more so thinking about like the the message of the song and delivery, but if I'm like if, if it's like sometimes if it's a feature or <laughs> or I don't know like if I'm in a, in a certain mood like a, a competitive mood then yeah do you do you think that can sometimes I mean well for artists that may want to f- do a feature with you male artists do you think that you know, you having bars can sometimes make them. I think well, it's happened before. You, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find the words where it, it kind of like string them away because like they the like, damn, she'll. Like, want to like make music with me? Yeah, because they that, look that, at you. You scared some niggas before? Yeah, you done scared some niggas. You done put, you done put some like niggas. You, done, you know. Make some niggas t- delete your I, verse? I don't, have, I don't have like proof, but the song never dropped. <laughs> Ooh. So I don't know. I don't know. This is years ago. This is years ago. Hey, that song ain't Still. never dropped, dog. <laughs> hey, this was years ago. Wow, wow what's up? You not know you watching this interview. <laughs> Drop that shit. Don't be scared. On the real. Don't, don't be scared. It's only music. You don't. Hilarious. I feel. I feel like you know. You. I mean, you as a person. Of course, you have a very bright personality. But I think you may rub off on some MCs that way. Cause you, I mean, you got bars, and, and then on top of that, you're very passionate about the music you put out. So mm-hmm. if a person not on that level of what you're bringing. Then you know possibly that's how some road kill. Feel. Oh, that's just road kill. Crazy. <laughs> that's not on you though. That's Her on last them. Name yeah. Carter stepped anybody with the name Carter, Carter. Sean Carter, Dwayne <laughs> Carter, <laughs> Brittany <laughs> Carter. <laughs> The Carter, 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 <laughs> Carter three. <laughs> Stay my next album, Carter third time the charm, man. Look, I gotta get a feature with both of them one of these days. Get Wayne on the hook. Get a verse from Jay. Look, Jake. look. <laughs> Carter's yeah, it's something about that last name. Dude. Carter, 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 Carter. Man, <laughs> now let's let's talk about your album. Ad lib. Ad, yeah, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, as I am, uh, can we? Do we have a an expected date of when things will possibly? Be I released? do have a date, um, okay. but we we're not announcing yet. Mm. Look, got my eyes got big. I was gonna say, but we have say, and it's very soon. It's I was very about to say, damn, we get our first <laughs> date. We ain't <laughs> never got a date. <laughs> yeah. But I look, I'll hit y'all. I'll hit y'all first. So, but yeah, we we definitely have a date already. Yeah, you so. definitely been showing love. You send up. You make sure you send edits over. All all that, man. We I, I greatly trying. appreciate. I saw it. your tweet too the other day. Appreciate the love, man. Oh, look. oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, because no, we don't we don't get a lot. We of don't that. get a lot of that, which is crazy. Like I was. What was that? Yes, last night what did I tweet back? Yeah, I, I think that was I, last night. I was drinking it yesterday. Might have been two days. But I was definitely finna tweet. <laughs> I was like, too. I was about to, <laughs> I almost got like, I was we about gotta... to go into a whole thing because I, I feel like, you know, a lot of people say like how Chicago is so divided, but like y'all really show love. Like y'all been showing love, like, and I ain't even had no music out in the beginning, you know? So Yeah, yeah. We, we greatly I appreciate you. We love you, that, Brittany. <laughs> like John would say, y'all for real. We appreciate, you know, you showing love back because it's like, like you said, we we definitely do we try our best to we spotlight every. We can't spotlight everybody. Real, but like, yeah, but, but that's important though, because like, you know, a lot of artists be saying, you know, like other blogs, you know, don't be posting new new artists. Like, it's just like the same people. They cover the same people all the time. So it's not like that with y'all. You know, like y'all always put new new people up, new artists up. Like, I be finding artists, you know, in the city from y'all sometimes. So that's love. That's love, we man. We r- appreciate that. We've been rocking with you since the since day one. Yeah, so, for real. Like y'all was putting up my joints, and I didn't even have like anything on platform. So dope to see the uh, <laughs> it's dope to see the growth, man. Um, do before we get up out of here, do you see yourself possibly inking a deal with a you know a major, or do you want to stay independent? Um, that's something I've been going back and forth with, but the only way I'll do that is if it makes sense. You know, you got any labels uh, on your line? I don't. I don't think so. That's, I don't know. <laughs> You still got connections with TDE? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a label, you know? 
I mean, like, um, I still like talk to reason. Cool, yeah. that's good. Yeah. What about Anything, uh, any songs, any features, features we should we, be expecting? We did a joint, but I don't know, you know, like if he gonna drop it or whatever. <gasps> but yeah, that's big though. Mm-hmm. At least y'all did the. Was this like uh, when he was here in the city and you opened? Was he, did you this open was for? After, this was after that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's why I was like, I, I don't know where y'all was at, but I know you won mm-hmm. and you like opened up. Wasn't it like him and J Rock? Yeah, he had um, he had opened up for J Rock too. Damn. It was like, yeah. That's a reason. Drop Look that. at here, dog. Drop that. Don't Drop like that. The, don't be like the other guy. Don't on the real. <laughs> don't be like the other guy. Miss <laughs> me. Drop that shit. No, it's not. No, it's, it's real. It sounds real good. But yeah, I, I don't know. You know, like you know, when or if you know he gonna drop it. But it sounds tight. Damn. I'm happy <laughs> for you. I'm I'm happy y'all link because that's why I asked earlier about like when you get certain retweets and things of that nature from these celebrities. Is it impactful? And like, do you? Do they still keep in touch with you? Yeah, like people will be like staying in touch and reaching out. Like uh, Bone Crusher, he like hit me up every now and then. Bone Crusher, <laughs> never yeah. stay. Yo, yo. Yeah, he hit me up every Attention. now and then. Let's go. <laughs> uh, remix. Yo, the crazy part is I used to know that whole song by heart. Yo, he got a song called "Grip in the Grain." Yeah, and that's still the hardest Ooh, beat I, I ever heard that. in my life. Dum dum dum. <laughs> His voice just so that just raw, bone crusher. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big Ti fan, so I remember him and T- him and Tip was coming up together, making yeah. noise through that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, Damn, I, you got bo- bo- yo, you know, yeah. bone. You need to get a bone crusher feature. That would be hard. That'd be different too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna bring big homie out of retirement, <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro. That'd be crazy. Yeah. That would be. You should do a freestyle on. I ain't never scared. That will be tight. Yeah, but you give yeah. me some ideas. Okay, That's what I'm here That's for. What we do. <laughs> That's what we That's do. What we do. Like I said, that t- we're gonna talk about this offline. I want nobody taking this idea from from you. So. I, look, I already know what you're talking about. And I'm already. I want to yeah. hear it, so I can't wait. Yeah, I want to hear offline because people likes to take. Okay, especially now, from us. Don't look. look. <laughs> oh, facts. Big facts. A whole other conversation. Yeah, yeah, so do like the. But what I'm gonna say is definitely let people know where they can tune in. To you, shout out, uh, give out your social media. Uh, of course, your single, let them know where they can grab it. In oh man, my album. um, Twitter and IG is both the same, uh, underscore Brittany Carter. So that's B R I T T N E Y Carter. And um, this latest joint code is us featuring me and my sister Olive Blue. It's everywhere. And y'all know we got it loaded in queue right here, ready to go on Illinois Radio. But before we get into it, y'all can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all of those things at official Biko. That's official. B as in boy, E-K-O-E. Make sure you download that Illinois app and take us wherever you go around the globe, baby. All right. And uh, Jones, what you on? Yo, I'm on. I don't know what's in my cup, so I can't <laughs> tell you what I'm on. But you can go follow me at Instagram and Twitter at Illinois Jones eighty eight. I don't like y'all that much to get y'all my Facebook and Snapchat because I get ratchet. Um, <laughs> it's still good. It's a good day outside. It feels good outside, and it's Sweetie's Day. But if you don't have no sweetie, you go out, pop out, enjoy yourself. I want everybody to party hard, but party, party safe. safe. And if, if you, you can't, can't do both, stay your ass, ass in the house. house. See you.